What's up guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll be demonstrating these 3D printed CO2 rockets that I recently designed. I originally came up with this idea after watching the Backyard Scientist video on his CO2 cartridge powered rocket launcher. I designed these rockets so that 12 gram CO2 cartridges would be able to fit snugly inside. The walls of these rockets had to be very thin so that they would fit perfectly inside of a 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. The PVC pipe is what the rockets will be launched out of. These rockets can be launched simply by breaking the seal at the bottom of the cartridge. To do this effectively, I made a pretty simple trigger mechanism. Alright, so this finished trigger mechanism just attaches onto a 5 foot length of PVC. I designed this trigger so that the nail will drive up and pierce a nice clean hole into the bottom of the CO2 cartridge. I also designed it in a way so that none of the CO2 can escape down into the trigger mechanism. This is important because this will allow more pressure to build up in the bottom of the launch tube, resulting with a more powerful launch. So the first thing I wanted to do when I was designing these rockets was add some sort of fins to the bottom. Now I just want to say I'm a complete amateur when it comes to any kind of rocketry and I had some trouble thinking of ways to add the fins, but I think what I came up with may help a little bit. After doing a bit of research, I found that in order to have a rocket fly straight and stay stable, you need the rocket's center of gravity to lead the rocket's center of pressure. If it doesn't, your rocket will fly out of control like you see happen to me here. If you want to know how to find your rocket's center of gravity and center of pressure, I put a couple of great videos that will explain this in the video description. Essentially what I had to do was add some weight to my rocket's nose cone, so I went out and bought a half inch zinc rod. A 20mm piece was all I needed to push up into the nose cone to have my rocket's center of gravity leading its center of pressure. I ended up making three different size rockets so that I could see which ones would work the best. You can download these rockets for free on Thingiverse, as well as see all the print settings that I used. Trust me, I had a lot of failed prints before I got it right, and I don't want this to happen to you. Now let's go try these out. There it is over there in the dirt. These rockets went way higher than I expected, and the shortest ones definitely went the highest. Most of them went at least 150 feet, although it was really hard to film them because they shoot off so fast and the white ones blended in with the sky. I know a lot of you may not have a 3D printer or even access to one, but you can also try doing this using only the CO2 cartridges. They may not fly straight and they won't go quite as high, but it's still a ton of fun. Also, congratulations to the five Ostiwawa keychain winners. Toby Kemp, Jeffrey Brown, Mowerman32000, Edward Bauer, and Eric Wacapelli. I've sent a message out to all of you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should do another keychain giveaway. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.